my dear students welcome to our mathematics class let us begin exercise 2.1 from third question the third question is that they are asking in a magic square they have given the magic square the sum of the numbers in each row hope you know that what are the rows the horizontal lines are called as row each row each column column in the sense like vertical and along the diagonals diagonals means slanting is the same what is the same the sum must be the same the sum must be the same after that they are asking the question is this a magic square see they are only giving hint in the question what do you have to do each row each column and diagonal sum must be same to just check out whether the sum is same then you come for the conclusion whether it is a magic square so let us begin with the first row i will write first row i am going to begin because of the space 4 11 9 9 upon 11, 2 upon 11. My dear students, when the denominator is same, so it is easy to add. So it will never change anything. Just you add 4 plus 9, 13, 13 plus 2, 15. So first row is over. Then let us go for the second row. Second row, let us take down. Well, taking down, you have to be very careful. You should not miss out the numbers. Five upon eleven plus seven upon eleven. Then here also the denominator is same. When the denominator is same, three plus five eight, eight plus seven fifteen. Now the second row is over. Now let us begin with the third row. Third. Row. In the third row, eight upon eleven plus one upon eleven plus six upon eleven. Eight plus one nine nine plus six fifteen. Here also the same thing. Now row wise over the sum is same. You cannot come to the conclusion. You have to check column wise also. Now let us check the first column. Let us check the column wise. So you take in this way: four upon eleven plus three upon eleven plus eight upon eleven. Four plus three seven. Seven plus eight fifteen. Denominator is same, so we don't have much work out to do here. Now let us go for the second column. Nine upon eleven, five upon eleven, plus one upon eleven. Nine plus one ten, then fifty. So here also it is same. Now let us go for the third column. Third column sum. Now two upon eleven plus seven upon eleven plus. Six upon eleven. So two plus seven nine. Nine plus six fifteen. Now row wise over, column wise over, but still one step is left out. As they told you, diagonals. Diagonals means slanting. Let us take first diagonal and second diagonal. How many diagonals you can find out? Only two. So let us go for the two. First, let us take in this way: four upon eleven, five upon eleven, plus six upon eleven. Six plus four, five. Fifteen upon eleven. Now let us go for this diagonal: two, five, eight. Two upon eleven. Five upon eleven plus eight upon eleven. So eight plus two ten. The left out is five. So answer is fifteen. Fifteen upon eleven. Now you have to check whether all the sum is same. Yes. So since you write that since all the sum of the numbers. 
numbers sum of the numbers each row each diagonal you can write that each row uh, column and diagonal are same diagonals columns rows diagonals are same so it is magic square yes it is magic square we have to conclude this yes it is magic square if you write in this way every step will be completed otherwise your steps will not be completed hope you understood how to check the magic square this is just like a one type of game now let us switch on to the next question that is fourth question a rectangular sheet of a paper is 12 and half cm long and 10 to upon 3 cm wide find its perimeter hope you know that the meaning of perimeter they have told that rectangular sheet rectangular sheet means if the shape will be rectangular the measurement one is 12 and half another one is 10 upon 10 to upon 3 these are but perimeter what do you mean perimeter perimeter is equal to sum of all sides sum of all sides let us start to solve the problem solution how to solve first given things you take down a rectangular rectangular long or length is 12 1 upon 2 cm this is more important you must write the unit then width i will write just width you write in the sentence width 10 2 upon 3 cm now they are asking you perimeter perimeter means sum of all sides sum of all sides but this is one of the regular shape we have the formula what is that formula 2 into length plus breadth this is the formula so you have to p is equal to 2 into length plus breadth length also given breadth also given it is so easy to calculate so let us write 2 as it is and but before we put length and breadth i uh, usually i will tell you whenever it is in the form of mixed fraction you have to convert it into improper fraction 12 are 24 plus 1 25 upon 2 here 10 threes are 30 plus 2 32 upon 3 now let us take down that is as a length 25 upon 2 plus 32 upon 3 now you have to do the addition before going to do the addition you have to check whether the denominator is passing no so what we can do let us take the lcm let us take the lcm we have to start with the prime numbers means 3 will be the same 2 ones are then 3 ones are then you will get the till to get the one you have to do 2 threes are what are the prime numbers you have done you have to multiply you will get the lcm 6 now let us continue with the lcm 6 to how much are 6 2 threes are 3 half 25 is 75 plus 3 twos are 2 means 64 so we have got that 2 into 75 plus 64 what is the answer 75 plus 64 Five plus four nine seven plus six one hundred thirty nine upon six. Now we have to multiply with this 
टू इंटू लेंथ प्लस ब्रेड टू इंटू लेंथ प्लस ब्रेड सो यू हेव टू मल्टीप्लाई लैंड टेक टू हि डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज टू वन हंड्रेड थर्टी नाइन अपॉन सिक्स ना हाउ टू सिंप्लीफाई हाउ टू सिंप्लीफाई लेट एस गो फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेशन टू रिमूव द मल्टी टू नाइन जा एटीन वन टू थ्री जा सिक्स प्लस वन एंड टू टू सेवेंटी एट सिक्स नाउ दिस वी कैन पुट इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ विच वन मे मिक्स फ्रैक्शन टू सेवेंटी एट सिक्स हाउ मच सा ट्वेंटी फोर और ट्वेंटी सेवन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सिक्स फोर सा ट्वेंटी फोर थ्री इज लेफ्ट ऑफ द एट सिक्स हाउ मच सा थर्टी एट सिक्स सिक्स सा थर्टी सिक्स सो लेट एस राइट सिक्स सिक्स सा सो आंसर इज टू रिमेंडर इज टू नाउ लेट एस राइट एज आई टोल्ड यू द डिनोमिनेटर नेवर चेंज क्वेश्चन बिकम द होल नंबर देन द रिमेंडर बिकम द न्यूमरेटर होप यू अंडरस्टूड I have multiplied two to this number, so you have got that two seventy eight. Instead of one hundred thirty nine, you have got two seventy eight. Two seventy eight. After that, you are getting to convert into mixed fraction. Then this is the perimeter. That's why you do not forget to write the centimeter. This is the clear answer. Hope you understood. Thank you, my dear students.